Okay, hello everybody. Uh, this is Chang Hong for the uh, Academic Degree Assessment Committee. What we're going to do is talk about graduation. Yes, from the first day you enter. <laughs> the reason why I'm talking this is you need to plan quite well to graduate on time. On time here defines as five years. And I must say about half of the students graduate on time, one way or the other. They do follow up and then most of them will graduate within six years. There are small requirements. Well, there are many requirements, but small requirements such as English scores, your second paper that you were supposed to go in, these things can actually delay your graduation. So I want you to be clear. What are the requirements for the graduation? Yes, you've seen this many times, uh, basic and application field of study uh, through the five-year program. So there are specifically four hurdles that you need to conquer. For most of you, the first and second year student, this will be the QE1, okay? Uh, it's abbreviated as qualifying exam number one. So, uh, the second hurdle is midterm dissertation uh, uh, and progress meetings, which you will conduct during the fourth year. And if there is one, there is two. So qualifying exam two, uh, which you could perform at the same time with the preliminary dissertation defense. Okay, so this is the biggest day, your preliminary dissertation defense. Basically, uh, if your committee agrees uh, to go forward with your thesis, uh, you can schedule the final dissertation defense, uh, which so far we have nobody who failed that. Okay, so uh, uh, just keep in mind uh, at the end of the fourth year, you have to have most of your requirements ready. So I'm gonna talk uh, sort of in details on each of the requirements. Again, the first hurdle will be the qualifying exam one, which you are scheduled to take at the end of second year, okay? Uh, it's end of the second year, but it's during the semester. So it says complete 60 credits or more, but as long as you're registered for the classes for 60 credits, you're fine, okay? So it's, it's gonna be in fall of your, uh, basically it's gonna be your, your third, third or fourth semester, okay? But uh, you could still uh, be okay. The exam content is uh, basically your proposal. Uh, this could be either the business proposal or the research proposal. Uh, and uh, you, before you set up, uh, you write up a proposal uh, and uh, have a, a one or two committee meetings. Uh, the committee will be assigned to you. Uh, you can, your, your uh, advisor can recommend who it will be. And uh, you, you, rehearse, you know, rehearse with them. If they have any criticism, uh, they will inform you. So basically it's helping you, okay, to make a better proposal before you have this oral defense. Uh, of your proposal, which we call a QE1 day, okay? It's a D day for you, okay? Uh, so criteria of the evaluation HBP includes demonstration of strong wills to contribute and confront global issue, uh, identify global issue with general and specialized knowledge, plan and complete a research project to resolve relevant issues. So once you pass the qualifying exam, Okay, that is the end of the second year, you're on the roll, okay? Most of the students will focus on their own research. Uh, there are still some classes that you need to take. So as Mizuno Sensei have mentioned, you have to complete 60 credits, but the graduation requirement is 72 credits. So all you need to take is 12 credits, okay? So you have plenty of time, okay? But you do need to pass the qualifying exam. And in case you fail, we do give one more chance during the semester, okay? So uh, during your second to fourth year, uh, you will set up another committee, the basically your thesis committee, who will overlook and help your research, okay? 
And uh, you, we recommend you have an annual research progress meeting with this committee. And uh, there will be an official midterm dissertation, uh, which should be held in the fourth year. Okay, so during the fourth year. So you can have a meeting during the third year, two times, three times, okay? Uh, fourth year early, but you need to officially have what's called a midterm dissertation uh, to be held. Okay. <clears throat> Another thing you need to be aware of is we have a program that's called a GLID. I think many of you from Tsukuba knows about it. Uh, some of you are second year students. Uh, it stands for Growth and Learning Identification Powered by Instructional Design, which doesn't tell you anything. But bottom line is there's a series of questionnaires that we set forth so that you can evaluate yourself how much you have progressed. Okay. So this is based on our HBP capability that EDS has mentioned, you know, the ABC, the accomplishment, breakthrough, cognolescent, I can never pronounce that well. Uh, I think A is double, so there's the academic also here. Okay. And uh, in the second column, you see a grid capability. So there are 10 grid capability about research, performance, uh, questions and hypothesis type, uh, you know, how much you can uh, manage a project and plan, uh, as well as forming network and exploring. So this, there are 10 of them. And uh, the program is set to give you a question. So for example, this is an outline of questions, step one, step two, step three, so forth, till step five. Okay, and uh, you can read a few. Uh, they uh, you know, has a research theme question to be solved. Okay, if you don't know what your research theme of your thesis, that's a little bit of a problem. Uh, explain analytical method or other things that has each step, and each step gets difficult. Uh, you know, step five. Uh, you know, explain the uh, validity of selective verification method with rational information and data. Okay. So, so the, uh, this online program is to, there to guide you through. And what you need to be master is how to respond that well, okay? It's your writing practice at the same time to prepare you for your thesis, okay? So we ask you to take this seriously. And bottom line is each grid cap capability, we want you to complete two of them, two, two steps. That is, you have 10 cap capabilities. So you want to complete step one and step two of each of them. So that's, we call it 20 points, okay? In addition, uh, we want you to complete uh, uh, some of the step five, okay? At least five of them. So at least if you want to go step five, go ahead. You can go more step four and step five. Okay, some, some student really likes it because you can, potentially get a feedback from the faculty members on how you write it. Now, is it clear enough? Okay, because if it's not clear, we just reject it, <laughs> okay? So uh, take advantage of this grid. Uh, there's a one side effect of this. It's not available 24 hours seven. It's only available four months in one year. That is from February to March 30th. Okay, so the, for the freshmen, uh, you won't see it until September. <laughs> but you can still access the website, I believe, and look at some questions so you can prepare. The actual submission of your answers to these great questions, you can do it in these two, two time frames: so September to October 30th or February to March 30th. And believe me, some students did not graduate on time because they didn't complete this grid. Okay, so uh, I suggest you uh, work on it uh, whenever you get a chance. Uh, visit the website uh, to see how it's running. Uh, talk to your upper classmate. Uh, although they might say how nonsense it is, but that's all different opinions. Uh, so uh, get some guidelines. Okay, so uh, we want to complete 
you to complete that uh, before you take the qualifying exam too and the preliminary dissertation defense. So again, Mizno Sensei said you need 72 credits uh, completed by the end of the semester of the fourth year. And uh, your academic advisor actually needs to approve that you may go, <laughs> okay? So yes, it could be due to one person, but good score and the English language requirements, as we mentioned. And I suggest you always take the English language requirements as soon as possible. If you're not confident, take every year, okay? We're not gonna take these uh, you know, COVID excuse. Oh, I cannot take it, so, but we can't let you go without the score, okay? The uh, exam contents are uh, written here. Uh, again, either the research or the business proposal. proposal. Uh, this time it's outside your field. So something that's a little bit distinct from your thesis, okay? So let's say if you're studying the five prime end of the RNA, maybe you can study the three prime end of the RNA. Okay, that's a little bit of a, uh, at least that much of a difference uh, that we want you to demonstrate and uh, achieve, uh, accomplish that goal. Okay, the exam contents includes uh, accomplishment and achievements or overseas internship and business plan competition, which you may have a chance uh, to do it uh, before the fourth year and uh, project management skills and acquisition patent for the business proposal. Okay. And uh, the, uh, aside from QE2, the, uh, the preliminary dis dissertation defense is your framework of your thesis. Okay, so basically what you're gonna do is present what you have there in a very professional manner. And uh, you can incorporate additional results in the final dissertation defense. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's see how the time frames are. So uh, uh, once you pass the QE2 and PPD, then you submit the final thesis. Uh, and uh, of course you need to uh, pass the uh, preliminary dissertation defense. You must have all your publication requirements set. Okay, one first author and one co-author paper as I think that's the requirement. So uh, the, the table below is your sort of a tentative schedule. If you're on schedule, uh, you'll be taking the QE1 in January, 2024. For second year students, I think you're taking in January, 2023. Okay. Then you can have your de degree conferred by the March of 2027. It seems to be a long time, but it's gonna come quickly, okay? We do give chances. Uh, if you don't make it, no rush, don't kill yourself. Uh, we have a delay pattern one, two, three. Those are the time frame that you can actually complete uh, your degree a uh, little later. So uh, instead of graduating in March, uh, we have sort of set patterns here. Uh, you can graduate in May, July, or October. And uh, in some case, it could extend, but uh, we do want you to fit, or at least uh, get a degree by the end of the sixth year. Okay, so uh, that's it for from me. Uh, I just also want to announce that we, I am going to have a class called I think it was research and developmental plan, okay? It's not the required class, okay? And I think the Sigma office will inform you that, that and uh, we'll send you an announcement. It's designed for the first and the second year students to brush up your scientific skills. So uh, please sign up if you're interested. Thank you.